Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you're having a great day. Take a look at this here, Bitcoin 10% on the day. This is phenomenal. We love to see the price action recover here. We're coming up on our 0 0.68, 0 0.65, you know, that golden pocket resistance range. So please keep that in mind. Uh, furthermore too, that $60,000 level didn't hold very well, did it? Well, let's talk about the new gap within a gap, the inception uh, trading scenario here where we've got a new CME gap uh, on the on the future. So if you're not familiar, it does close from 5 to 6 p.m. Uh, what's uh, Central Standard Time? Because again, Chicago Mercantile Exchange, that's what it stands for. So when we see that CME gap, uh, commonly it gets filled. We're seeing it halfway filled to the upside. Now the new one would likely be retested. It's exactly at that $60,000 mark. We'll talk about that and a few other things too. So if you're new, I would like to welcome you aboard. If you've been watching for a while, thanks again so much for the awesome support. We've got some amazing viewers here, so I deeply appreciate you very much. You're a big part of my life, so thank you. Uh, hit the like button if you could. Helps grow the channel, get this in front of more people so they get less destroyed more often, right? Less, more, less is more, right? Okay, so let's take a look here at the liquidation of the last seven days on the left. 30 days on the right. If we do take a look here, we can see, once again, still 63,000, that heavy concentration liquidation. So wouldn't be surprised if we get some aggressive candle wake up to that level. Uh, but we do see here, of course, the majority of liquidation has been swept between 59 and 61.3. Uh, one, two, there's like just billions and billions of dollars here gone. So sorry, sucks to be you. High leverage shorts. Now I'm not one to talk. I have a low leverage short position open at Bitcoin at resistance close to 60K, mainly because it's supposed to work as a resistance. We can see how strong of a resistance that was here today. It plateaued for about two or three hours and just broke through a moment ago. So just friendly advice, be careful shorting the market. Um, I don't like to short coins in general, but at this point, Bitcoin had a lot of reasons why, but also a lot of reasons not to. I mean, that was just kind of a main, the main reason for that was just because it was a key level resistance, which as of late, 60,000 has proven to do a whole lot of nothing, but historically it's done very well. So we'll see. All right, so anyways, what I'm getting at here is there's more liquidation further up, uh, but a massive concentration about 63K. If we zoom in here, we can see somewhere about 10 billion at 63,000 and roughly 10 billion at about 60, just, let's just say round number 62K, but just shy of that. So wouldn't be surprised if we see that swept there. So heads up, the price will continue to likely run now that we've broken through that resistance because there's not a lot of sellers in, 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 uh, in the way or you know on the horizon, whatever you want to call it. The thing we got to recognize though too is that just yesterday, as a matter of fact, they started this too, the Asian market. As soon as the Asian market opened, this is 5 p.m. Pacific yesterday, the market cranked. So they, they took the price action from 55 up to 57 and then let the rest ride. So what do you think they're gonna do with all these profitable trades? A solid chance they're gonna do that. Uh, in other words, sell and then pull it back down at least to 60,000. So I, I think for the, for the moment here, it'd be safe to say 60,000 is a distinct probability of a retest, mainly because again, we've got this significant little gap here. Maybe not all that significant, but it's something still to be mindful of. And look at that, that lower level, exactly 60,000. It's just, it's uncanny how exact the numbers can be here in, in, in trading. So just be mindful, round numbers are never great, a great place to consider securing profits. Just to be low or above is a great way to go, just so you can kind of uh, ensure you get filled because uh, you know these large orders are gonna get filled before you because they're large orders. That's all there is to it. So daily time frame. what are we looking at here? Well, the easy way to understand it is that we're still under a lot of key, key resistances. So this does reaffirm the fact that our golden pocket will be a strong resistance. I'm confident that 62.5, upwards about 62,000. Right in that range, we should experience a lot of resistance because we got all moving averages right there. We're also at this 50 on the RSI mark too. We're getting really close. So just say we go up to 62K, that'll put us at 50 there, a likely initial rejection. Now, it doesn't mean the price is gonna drop down to 50K. It just implies that we're probably gonna have some resistance and a rejection there, possibly down to that 60K mark. Now that we're back up above 60,000, it'd be safe to resume that might be the new support level. It's not that clear, obviously, as we could see how well this resistance level worked, but on the same accord, it's generally the concept, right? So just kind of be mindful of that little uh, that little caveat there. But no matter how you look at it, the daily time frame, believe it or not, still not bullish. <laughs> it seems crazy, uh, but yeah, we're at 10.5% on a day, absolutely on fire, but there is no reason to, uh, uh, to, to, to think that we've broken bullish. Now, again, 
We've broken through this descending trend line, we're above the 50 day SMA, and we're over 50 on the RSI on the four hour. Those are all very bullish signs. So from a midterm four hour time frame, we see a nice transition here. The likelihood of the price going higher is greater now because of these things, okay? And once again, hourly four hour time frames, those all factor into the larger daily time frame. So we are soon to see Bitcoin break bullish on the daily, we're just not quite there yet, according to you know all the moving averages and the, those other factors. So just kind of throwing it out there. Uh, what else I want to throw out there too, and I, I mentioned this on my recent TikTok video, um, or just my shorts rather, you probably saw that on, on YouTube too, is just this ascending, sorry, it's a descending uh, pattern here effectively. Broadening wedge, generally speaking, when you see that happen, the likelihood of retest the upper side is pretty high and a breakout. What we're looking for is a bullish breakout. So what I do is come up here, come back down, and then we'll see it take off from there. It's generally what we're gonna be looking for. So uh, again, it's not a guarantee, but that in combination with the CME gap here getting mostly filled already within two or three trading days. I mean, look at this crap. What was it? Monday, August 5th at 1 a.m. We were at 48,900. Now we're at 61,000, no less than three days later. That is insane, all right? So that's crypto for you, folks. That's the way it's gonna go. So you gotta get on board or you know, get in or get out, however you wanna look at it. Either way you look at it, super glad that I added to my spot bag. And again, always recommend anytime the price of Bitcoin dips, folks, you just buy in and consider more long-term investing. Again, spot bag should never be sold. It should just be held on for a long time and you keep adding as the price goes down. It's generally the concept. Once again, that's just me personally, more of an investor versus uh, I would say, I mean, I trade, of course, to invest, but my, my profits go to the investment. Okay, what I wanna get at here on the hourly is just a quick summary here of the each mobile cloud. This is gonna be pretty straightforward. Just like before, we're still above the cloud, conversion lines over the baseline, lag and spans free and clear. No reason to consider uh, shorting at this point. It doesn't make a ton of sense. Um, now, granted, if the price gets closer to 62, 63,000, I think that'd be a solid consideration for a short mainly because it's just a situation in which we're coming up to some key level resistances. I figured 60,000 would be a resistance just based on that psychological support and resistance zone, but it didn't matter this time. What does matter is these key FIB levels, that 0.68 FIB. It's a really, really common characteristical um, retracement location. We combine that with all the liquidation that is uh, soon to expire, or just generally speaking, that's the largest concentration of liquidation in the immediate foreseeable future until we get to 67K there's a good chance, distinct probability, we'll see a rejection at 63, 62.5, and pull back down to that 60,000, that new CME gap that we see here that developed on the hourly, okay? So again, just some kind of things to look at. But once more, I like to kind of help get you some insights and things to be mindful of. And once, uh, once again, just make sure you're careful with how you trade. High leverage is not really the best way to go right now. Obviously, in hindsight, had you did a high leverage long at 60,000, you're probably feeling pretty good right now. I get it, but... It's not always going to feel that good. It's going to feel pretty terrible when you get liquidated. So just do yourself a favor. Make sure that whatever stop loss you have in place, it's going to be it's it's well within at least half of your liquidation level. So you can walk away um, still still in, in better shape than you would if you didn't. Right. By the way, just some friendly advice. Uh, again, we see a lot of new community members coming over for different reasons. And a lot of them are just tired of getting destroyed by the market. So I totally get it, um, mainly just to watch my university videos, which is fine. Those are available for you as well. But either way you look at it, thank you so much for watching. We'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.